Here we are today again with uh, Dr. Ted Civic. He is uh, well known to many of us here in the integrated medicine community in Western Pennsylvania. He is the owner, operator, and 600-pound uh, gorilla at the Inner Strength up there in Leechburg. He's also a doctor of uh, naturopathy or naturopathy. We're going to find out quickly which way it's pronounced. He's also a doctor of Chinese medicine and an 89th generation Taoist priest. Welcome today, Dr. Ted. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. How are you doing, Sven? I'm doing pretty good. Did I, did I mess up any of your uh, bio there at all? Uh, no, no, that sounded pretty good. I really don't pay attention too much to it anymore. <laughs> No, is it is it naturopathy or naturopathy? We have we have naturopathy is how natural. I hear it in the in circles. So, well, you're in the circles and and we're not. So we'll go, we'll go with naturopathy. So for those of us uh, for those who are not familiar with uh, uh, your background, just give a little thumbnail sketch of uh, how you wound up there up, up top uh, Lovers Leap Lane there in Leechburg. Oh well, you know it, it's it's a wonderful little community up here. Uh, I live on a farm, and it's where I have my clinic, and it's where I live. It's all like one-stop shopping uh, when you come up here. And uh, but it, it, it's a wonderful place because I love nature, and that's part of being a Taoist. Is you really you know love and have a healthy respect for nature. And when you know in in my practice, I work putting people back into a natural balance. So everything is tied into nature. Everything is about nature and its balance and its cycles. So that's what we try to teach people is how to remain in cycle. And when you get out of cycle, that's usually when pathology and disease occur. So, you know, we're, we're living the dream up here. And, and uh, basically, you know, we're walking the walk. That's great. So you have uh, several different programs for medical professionals specifically. Do you want to talk about one or two of those? Yes, uh, we have a doctorate level of medical qigong, which is working in, in the big term now is energy medicine or, or energy psychology and all of those terms. Well, it's the way it was done originally in China. Um, you know, it dates back almost 10,000 years to the Zhao dynasty. Um, so, you know, it's been around for a pretty long time. The program's very strong. Uh, it's rooted in classical Chinese medicine. And in fact, it teaches you how to work with and be in the loop with other professionals, medical doctors, or many of my clients, psychologists, psychiatrists, uh, nurses, all of those people come into the class because they want something deeper. And they want to make connections between the physical body, the, the mental paradigms that they're having, and their emotional content that people have to deal with all the time. And they know that there is a linkage, and that's exactly what the program addresses. Another way of saying it is it works uh, with the enteric nervous system. It works in the aspects of heart math, and we have all of the tenants of balancing and having uh, a spiritual outlook based in nature. And so, you know, we combine all three of those in the programs. So uh, we're talking to you today because you're going to be one of the uh, key speakers at the Lifestyle Medicine Conference coming up in just about a month. Have any, uh, any hints you want to give us uh, to what you're going to talk about, or did we just uh, basically hear the outline there just now? Uh, you kind of heard the outline, and what I'm going to do is is go a little bit deeper, obviously, uh, into how all of this works, how it all fits, and uh, maybe and hopefully I pique somebody's curiosity that they're going to come on down and have a really fun day with a lot of great speakers. Yeah, yeah, really. You know, last year, uh, I remember at the end of the conference, Almost to a person, everybody just said, "Wow, that Ted guy! He was just something else." Your your talk really knocked people's socks off. And oh. uh, for anybody that uh, wants to see it, they can go on to the Saint Clair YouTube channel and, and see if their socks uh, do, in fact, uh, stay on their feet. But uh, so we're really looking forward to uh, seeing you again this year. You also talked a little bit in our um, I caught you on video a little bit talking about the importance of community. And just how important it is for all of the professionals that, that believe this way, that understand the mind-body connection, uh, get together on a regular basis. Do you want to expand a little bit more on that? Well, here, here, here's my fantasy. In ancient China, the job of the physician was to take care of the village. And so he was completely provided for. His housing, his food, everything was brought to him as long as 
he kept the whole village healthy. That was his job. And if he did not keep the village healthy, he got booted. You know, no more house, no more food, whatever, you're on your own. And I thought, wow, what if we instituted that kind of health care system into this country? Wouldn't that radicalize Western medicine? That, huh? would, that would radicalize the whole continent. <laughs> Goodness. That's a nice fantasy. A nice G-rated fantasy. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ted, it's, uh, it's, always a, it's always a great pleasure to talk to you. Anything else you want to say about the, the conference coming up? No, I just think that we have like a really an all-star lineup of people uh, coming to to speak, and uh, it's going to be be more dynamic than than last year. And the thrilling thing is, that we're doing this in Pittsburgh. This this you know, I would love to see Pittsburgh be the hub of this, and to be like the town to go to for all things integrative. Now that that would be another worthwhile goal. And, yeah, you know, I think this conference is well on its way to doing that. Well, and I think the, the, the great thing about it is it's uh, this year it's 100% local talent. It's all people that uh, after the conference you can go visit personally, right? I believe so, yes. So we're really looking forward to it, Ted. Thanks for talking with us today. All right. My pleasure as always, Ben.